Alright, uh, let me double check if I'm recording. Hopefully you guys don't see this. Ah, I am. Every time I do that, though, it makes the game lag. Alright, so... <coughs> Dang it, I forgot to mute for that, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry about not having an episode. Uh, yesterday, my daughter woke up with me at... What was it? 3 a.m., 4.30. She didn't go back to bed till 6, and that's usually where I have to get my lunch and everything ready for work, so... Didn't happen. Uh... Didn't happen. So I'm doing it today, Friday. This one... This dungeon... A little bit more wily than the last one, right? Because... Well, I mean... Hey, did he just eat that heart, or did... Maybe I just picked it up and because I have full hearts it doesn't make a sound. No, it made it, it made a sound. Interesting. I think he ate that heart. Come on, wake up. Whoa, one shot kill. So the arrow is definitely our their weak spot. There we go. <coughs> Gee, it's like they're telling me something is up with these. Yeah. I'll I'll dispatch of him first. Oh, I can't. So I can't remember buttons really well on this game. There we go. There we go. What does this do? Oh, hey, wait. So then why are the torches there? Oh, eh. <coughs> well, let's find out. Um. No. Oh, yeah. Duh. Nothing. Huh. Is there supposed to be something with that? I, is that just a decoy? What's that Family Guy clip? Haha, <laughs> the new stand in the hangar decoys. Lewis decoys. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know those things shot fireballs. Hmm. Well, let's not go this way yet. This is the center room, so hmm, this place is just one big hub. I think you start off in the top. Oh, is there something here? Maybe. Okay. So, here's an interesting story about this game. You know, even I, I shared the one where we were wanting Harvest Moon for the Super Nintendo back. One second here, I'm gonna clear my throat. Alright, anyway, so, yeah. Oh, my brother woke up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I shared the story where we wanted, um, Harvest Moon, one second here, Nate, it is eyes, blah blah. You must never fail to find all the treasure in each dungeon. Thanks, I guess. Um, our mom picked up the game by accident. We asked her to go rent Harvest Moon. She thought this was it. It's top left corner. It's top left corner. Something, something's telling me. Ah, I swear I haven't played this game since like early 2000. Shit, we need, we need the big key, don't we? Yeah. Okay. What does this do? Does this do anything for us? Nothing. I, I actually expected that. This, this dungeon's full of broken promises and dreams. Um. And, you know, we rented it off and on, but I think our dad accidentally racked up a really high late fee on this game, and rather than paying it off, he just stopped renting from the grocery store that we rented games from, right? So, we lost access to this game. Oh, what? at what point were we in the game? I, I want to say we had just entered the dark world and we were trying to find out how to get the monkey to the first dungeon to flip the switch to gain access or something like that. I want to say that's where we left off with the original access to this game. And so we stopped playing it for a bit, but we, we kept talking with it with a classmate of ours, Jason. I'm drawing a blank on his last name. I, I was trying to think of it all week. Randomly, I've been remembering my old classmates. <coughs> 
and um, yeah, we were discussing with Jason. He had a, a magazine that covered some things on it. Wait, this, that's right, this dungeon goes back outside. Okay, so how do I know that? I, I promise you guys, I haven't played this game in a long time. I just remember some random things. I think that's neat. Alright, um, anyway. So we kind of like, you know, still had the affinity for it, but nothing substantial. Um, you know, we never got to play it really much until another classmate of ours, uh, Jimmy Chilson, I remember his last name, offered to sell it to us for five dollars, uh, which we promptly, promptly took him up on that offer, asked our dad for five dollars, and he gave it, and we paid it to him, and I remember walking all the way to his house from our house, which, you know, probably today doesn't seem like too much, but when you're a kid, that's like... I, w I want to say it's at most half a mile uh, of a walk, but it felt like, you know, a pretty big, substantial walk when you're a kid. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I This time my throat's mostly just this way because I'm starting to get a cold. Anyway, is there anything in here with a key? No? Okay. Uh, so we go over to his house and we give him the $5 for the game, and, uh... I remember he was quickly meeting us at the door, like, we knocked, and he was practically already there, and when he gave us the game and we gave him five dollars, I heard in the background, I'm guessing, his dad saying, Jamie, who is that, or something, and it turns out he sold us his dad's copy of the game, he told us later in the next day, that was his dad's copy of the game, and I don't think his dad knew probably found out. He never told us what happened with that story, but uh, if, if the dad cared any amount of the game, he's going to be pissed off. <coughs> so, yeah, we, I mean, when you're a kid, how do you get a game unless it's, I guess, for your birthday or Christmas, but I remember him telling us it was his dad's game, so that's how we got a hold of the copy, and we had that copy for many years, up until the point uh, or, you know, cartoon-based games with saves started losing save data. This was, we, we had the game for a very long time, and there came a point where, uh, another friend of ours, Matthew, I'm drawing a blank on the last name. Wow, I'm just not doing too hot. Um, Matthew, uh, his, he had a sister named Brittany, and his dad was Andy and Joe. I can't remember his last name. Um, he tried playing the game, and he saved. Oh boy. Interesting. There we go. <coughs> wow, that was quick. That's right, I knew I was gonna dodge all of them. I didn't know. I didn't know I was gonna dodge all of them. I just stopped caring. <laughs> um, you know, the dangers of that is like, okay, so I lose a little bit of health. Big one. Uh, anyway. <coughs> Yeah, he tried playing the game, and he got past, you know, the introductory uh, sewer mission, saved Zelda, left the sanctuary, saved, and quit. And I think we're staying the night at his place or something. I can't remember what. And uh, <coughs> he tries loading up the save, and the save no longer works. And that's where we found out that saves go bad after a while. Now we can pick up and carry stones. <laughs> oh, sorry about this. Um, we found out very shortly after that uh, a lot of our games were having this issue. Very, like, really close to that time frame. It was, uh, Mario RPG. Uh, Mario RPG had that and something else. What other possible Super Nintendo? Yoshi's Island? No, Yoshi's Island lasted for a while. Why, why, why do you do? Why do you do? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna die again. There we go. There we go. <coughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, there's a fun story for you. There's a history of further history. This game, we were addicted to it. 
the, the point where you find uh, the little boy in the forest with his little whistle and the animals. I don't remember much. Uh, well, I remember a lot. I remember the point where you find the boy with the whistle to get to get his ocarina. And I think they call it a flute on this game. Um, okay, so there's nothing in that end. Uh, so, I remember with distinction, that day, that night, Mom and her friend Kay were over, and it was somewhere around maybe 8pm, and they had ordered Night Train Pizza to go, you know, delivery. Oh boy. How did I know that? I, I don't think I knew that one. I didn't know there was going to be a key. We'll just do this. <coughs> Oh, yikes. Uh oh. What is that, number four? Yeah, we're still in the same room. Interesting, we lost like one room's progress. I'm not sweating it too much. Um, we were, yeah, they were getting night train pizza and, uh, you know, we were just barely into the dark world and that magical moment where you see the remnants of a shrine and you're like oh hey there's some significance to this area because like it's just a grotto in the forest but there's nothing there and so you use the um what is it a mirror on this game or something that takes you between light and dark i can't remember i think it's a mirror um and so we use the mirror like hey let's just check the light world and in the light world there he was you know with his little animal critters and they all run away or something and he gives you his flute or something and then he turns into a tree and i just it was that point, I don't know what it was about that point, but it was that point that I thought, wow, this, this, not this story, but the world has this awesome, uh, magic backstory to it, uh, if you will, like, like, it didn't add much to the story of the game, you know, playing saving the princess or whatever, but it adds to the believability of the world being, like, I don't know, different. It was, it was sad, it was somber, it, it, me feel bad for the poor kid because I had no idea why he turned into a tree. Maybe that was his mission, just had to pass on his legacy of, uh, I don't know, being friends with the animals or something. Hmm. I have to navigate my way through this. <laughs> wow. These things snipe you from afar. Dang it, Bobby. Oh my gosh. So you had two of them, and it's tough to track them. I just have to kind of look for any flashing. Is there ever any point to the, um... I'm gonna close the chat. I don't think you guys can see it this time, because I, I believe I'm just recording the game screen. Is there ever a point to these things, then, if... Because I've turned on, like, what, four different ones? Yeah. We'll not use that. We'll not use that, alright. Uh, 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 he could go all the way. Yeah, there's no point ever. So far, that's like 3 for 3, I've been burnt on that. <laughs> Again? Really? Alright, whatever. Um. Yeah, it was just. I wonder if, you know, he's probably a Kakiri that turning into the tree makes me think of a Deku tree. I wonder if he's the Deku. No, because this is what, after Ocarina of Time? This is supposedly, I think, story wise, or timeline wise. This is after the Ocarina of Time, uh, where Link fails to stop Ganondorf. So the torches have to be something now. <laughs> so what, they set you up to fail and like, ah, oh, now it really needs to be done. Psych. Oh, okay. That... Dang it. They move fast for behemoths. Um... Yeah, so... There's some more history. Let's think. What else was there? Oh yeah, the first time that you get a tunica, the ice temple, I think it is. 
Uh, that's actually the point where I started disliking the game, and I don't know why, but I liked green. And when he turns to the blue tunica, it just bothered me. I was so annoyed. No, I want the green. I know it gives you. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's see what, what happens. My brother wants to know if this legs. And the answer to that is no. But my arrows don't hit, so we have to brute force this sucker. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Eh. Eh. Oh boy. So, maybe we should, um... I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, because I might not even make it this round. I didn't do too hot the first few seconds, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I didn't like the tunica change. I know it gave you better defense, but it just... I wanted green, so there's that, and I know there's a red one. I can't remember how do you get the red one on this one. Is it given to you automatically? Is it at Death Mountain, I think, maybe? I don't know. Oh boy. I'm not gonna do too hot here. Uh, how much health do these things have? You just have to know it's diagonal, huh? My brother tells me that the 3DS port of this legs, and not only that, but the particles that they emit are, aren't are visible more than half the time or so. So dodging is just a pain in the butt. We got one. With that much health, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Probably get game over five. I don't remember these being this short, though, uh, the dungeons. I, I'm conquering them pretty quick, I think. I don't know. Wow. Might have just hide right away, cheater. Hmm. Wow. We're not gonna probably win this one. Uh. <sighs> I wonder if that's a thunder sound effect. How did they achieve that on the Super Nintendo? You know, you can't do, this doesn't do MP3 or WAV or OGG or, you know, Vorbis sound effects, this did MIDI, right? Just whatever sounds you could generate from a PCM or something like that. <laughs> Does he do anything different now? Does he shoot, like, more dirt? Let's just test. Yes, he does. Ha! <laughs> we got lucky there. Ah, caught it. <laughs> oh, I, I was sitting on my foot, so now my foot's dead. One second, I'm gonna t uh, I'm gonna see how long we've been recording here. 18 minutes, so we could probably try. You won the pendant of power. Uh, your goal of finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. When was it ever explicitly said we needed three pendants of power? Did it? Was it ever explicitly said to us? I don't know. I was told. Okay, so we left. We left the cathedral, they told us to seek out an old guy, the kid told us the old guy was away. Yeah, I think so, so has, bleh, whatever, not so, I don't know, that old guy in the temple, he probably told us after we beat the first boss and got the first pendant. I don't remember. What's in here? Fairy phone? Dun, 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 dun. This is. I think this is a fairy fountain. No. Who is this? Your trial in the desert has made you stronger. The blood of the hero must be in your veins. That's. Hmm. Is there anything going on here? Maybe over here? I believe. Oh, hey, here we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I believe bombable walls make a different ting. Uh, a, you know, sound when you tap them. No. I believe there's a fairy phone. No, harpies? But it is. It is. Boy. Yeah, that boss would have been tough with a three heart challenge, no fairies. I mean, I would have loved to have done it still, but I definitely would have gotten a few game overs. I, I was careless the first time in. 
like, I didn't remember entirely what the boss did, so, like, there was some, like, readjusting myself. Why did I run right into that cactus? The world may never know. Okay, so we have to get on to Mount... I don't remember what the name of the mountain is. Thanks. Uh, Mount... What is that mountain? Tower of something. How do we... Okay, so we have to go to the castle. So we just kind of like head north a lot and then go into there. We were told to check out... <coughs> something with the Lake Hylia. Now... I don't remember... Isn't there something to... If you like... Cut the grass that he hops under, you stop him and then he... Um, yeah, take it, thief. Okay. He gives you items. Sometimes it, I think it's money. Uh... What were we told to do here at the lake? You fired at nothing. Worst archer ever. I don't know. I should be heading towards the mountain that I need to go. Um... I should probably look for some medallions, too. At least, so this game's so much better than the original. I'm the original. Oh. What is this? We have some arrows, so let's... Uh, dang it, Nathan, stop. There we go. Um, I don't remember what that guy told me to do at the, at the lake. Uh, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Just back and forth. Alright, so you're slowly making your way up this way. There we go. <laughs> Who are you and why do you look so PO'd? Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us. It's a secret between us. Wow. Now we're loaded. Bombs. I think we just wasted that. Yeah, we already had the max. Some more rupees. Oh, his head follows me. That's neat. Is this like a bandit leader, I think? I don't know. Kind of a waste of our time, but whatever. I don't know what to do with rupees on this game. Is there anything we really need them for? Because I can't think of it. Dang that thing. Oh my gosh. A crab is going to beat us. Not... Not... Oh. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. <coughs> not three worms, but... Yeah, I don't want to fight that thing, it just... Okay, it does it anyway. <laughs> oh, they just disappear. I knew they blew up into little tiny ones, but I didn't know that they auto-disappeared and auto-blew up. Okay, so... There's... I think... I think... Oh. Dang. So, I wonder, where do we start off from? I get to pick. That's convenient. We'll find out what's on the lake later. Let's... Let's go here. Get some health. And that means I've been recording for, uh, what? 23 minutes? Yeah, 23 minutes, okay. In seven minutes, can I make it to the next dungeon? I don't think so. This is our introduction to the dark world, though, soon. So that's exciting. <laughs> ha! Got him. Wait, isn't there a Dark World portal or something here? I can't remember. I don't... There's certain paths that you can, like, gain access to the Dark World too, so... I remem I'm remembering that, like, you smack some grass or something and, like, a little... I don't know a tile appears underneath, and that tile, at certain points in the game, can be a uh, portal to the dark world. Hey, I think this is that grotto I was talking about. It is. It is. See, 
we knew about him, but he just kept disappearing, right? He just constantly disappeared. I wonder if he was like the original Skull Kid. I don't know. Because Skull Kids always are shy and they run away. But uh, yeah, he just disappeared, so it's like, what is going on? Uh, hey, let's hear the, t the full tune. It's not very long. Let's hear the original full tune. That's the tune. I don't know if there's any significance to that. I just thought I should, like, you know, get the full version in there. Where are we? <sighs> I mean, we're kind of going the right way. I guess I should have head up into the castle and then left. Took the long way around. I'm not familiar with Hyrule of Link to the Past. I need to keep iterating. I haven't played this game in a very long time. Is there something in this house? We've never been here. That I know of. Is this a shop? Yes, it is. It's a gambling shop. I don't gamble. We ain't got time for that. Blackjack and hookers. Twin brothers. One of them is sick, I believe. Or something. Yeah, Nate. Now I'm quarreling with my younger brother. I sealed the door to his room. That doesn't look like a door, but... You guys need to get over your differences. Link. The saver of families. I'm the link between your blood. <laughs> hey Nate, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? What'd you do? Let me guess, you played Pokemon and you saved over his save file. I bet that's what you did. I'd be upset. So the doorway is open again. Okay, okay. There should be a comment between okay. Oh, it's okay, okay. Maybe I should make up with my brother. Maybe. Because it's just Pokemon, bro. You can get them all. It, at the time this came out, well, there's nothing. That, oh boy. If you can reach the goal within 50 seconds, we will give you something good. Ready, set, go. I don't remember the dang thing to this. What is the goal? That? Huh. Uh. We have to go around. Dang. <laughs> okay. Well, now that I know the path... Now that I know the path... Let's see what this lady wants. What if it's a heart piece? Which I'm sure it is. Uh... Not really worth it, but whatever. We got time. Ah... Uh, dang it. Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, uh. Yeah, it is. 13 seconds. I qualified. A piece of your heart. That's what I'm in the game for. That's that's what it's all about. I will eat your heart. Uh, little Nicky reference. I'm sure that's a movie. Anyone that might potentially watch this other than my brother is not familiar with. Nope, this is definitely the way we need to go. Or is this not the way to go? Can, can we head... Wow. I think we just wasted our time. That's our house. How did I even pull this maneuver off? Wow. I can't talk and play games, so there's no way to get up there, is there? Oh, there is. Good. Good. There's the library where we got the Bible. I think that's what Nick and I called it, the Bible. <laughs> the Book of Medora or whatever, but we just called it the Bible as kids. Um... We don't have a hammer yet. I think that's one of those portals in there. Maybe. Or it's a hole that leads to a piece of heart. Something. Something. We'll get to that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I always want to say we get to that bridge when we cross it, but that's not how it works. Alright, so... Oh, that's the forest. That's the Lost Woods. We don't go there yet. We have no business there. <coughs> um... Yeah, I thought so. I think... Okay, that's the sanctuary, is it not? Is that the graveyard? So I th think I just need to head down, and then to the right? 
What is with these guys, though? Why do they look so happy? Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange. If we cut it... If you cut it, what? Yo, Nate, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. We have to be careful. Does anything happen if I, um... No. What is the significance of that tree? Hmm. I do not know. Okay. Alright. So, there's a piece of heart. Somehow, wait. I think if you have a shovel and you dig somewhere, I think you can get down there. Oh boy. We're in there anyway. Okay. Not today. I just, there's no reason for us to go there. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, I think, or unless it's one of these. Dang these bees. <laughs> you know, when we were young, because of this game, we were adamant about the belief that... So yeah, I can't move, I can only throw it. We were adamant about the idea that we could train a bee to follow us and attack our enemies because of this game. Because if you catch it with a net, that's what he does. He, he, you can catch it, let it out, and he'll follow you, but not hurt you. And then sting enemies for some amount of time, and if you don't catch it back, it'll just fly away after some determined amount of time. Anyway, that's 30 minutes. We've been, we made it to the entrance of where we needed to go. I can't even open. Oh boy. Uh, we made it to the entrance of where we need to go. We'll leave off here and then pick up next week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Uh huh.